Welcome to the Explore.net video tutorial um, showing how to use the Xmail system in the .NET Content Manager. Uh, the first thing you want to do is log into your Content Manager and then you'll either want to click on Send Email here or this icon that will follow you throughout the Content Manager. I'm going to click on this one and it will take me through to the Xmail system. To create a new Xmail, I just right click on Drafts and click Add Email. This will add a new email um, and when I click on this the main area will refresh showing me the editor and this will depend on your internet connection how fast this takes. You'll see that this area is blank, um, this is because you can have multiple templates within your content manager. So I'm going to click on the template manager to select the one I'd like to apply to this Xmail. And in this case we just have the one and you'll see a preview in this area over here. I'm then going to click insert. Uh, you see the, the Xmail has been reformatted for me. Now what you need to know is that um, the Xmail templates are set up using tables. So before we start editing we actually want to be able to see what we're working with in terms of the table layout. So to do that just right click in the uh, area where there's text and click show hide border. And what you'll see is these little dotted lines will show up showing you where um, the cells actually begin and finish. Um, now what we're going to do is do some basic text changes. For example it is now March 2008. Um, and what I'm also going to do is copy and paste some text from Word into this Xmail. Um, so I'm going to bring up my document. I'm going to highlight the text that I want to copy in. I'm going to copy that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the Notepad function in Windows. So I'm going to go to the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, and go to Notepad. Now the reason we're pasting into here is because it will strip out any nasty Microsoft code that will conflict with the, the website. So if you put it in here it will take out ev absolutely everything um, and we can just copy out of here and we're going to then come into the, the content manager and we're going to paste the text in there. As you'll see it will reformat two times in Roman text so I'm going to style it to what we want it to be. Now in the case of this template um, the style, the text style is Arial so we're going to come up here and select Arial and I know that the small text size is actually size 2. Um, what you'll also see is that we need to change the colour from black to white so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click up here and I'm going to use the colour tool on the end here and select white. And there we go. Um, in terms of the headers, these are actually size 4 Arial White Bold. So um, how we change this. And this is actually an image, just to give a funky look. The other thing we're going to do is set up some links. So um, I'm going to link this image through to a page that talks about the Kiwiana art. So I'm going to come up to Custom Links, because I'm linking to a page within the website that we're working in. And I'm going to go to Creative Critters and link through there. It's as easy as that. Um, now I'm also going to link this heading through. So I'm going to highlight that. Again, go to Custom Links. And click on creative critters and it will automatically change the uh, font style for me so that the kids know that they need to click on that if they want to link through. The other thing I'm going to add in is one to an external website so I'm going to go explore.net. Um, I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to come up and this time I'm going to use the hyperlink manager because it's an external link. Um, clicking on this will open a new window um, and then I just simply type in the address that I want to link to. So in this case explore.net and click OK and create that link for me. Um, the next thing we're going to do is um, I'll show you how to change this image for example. Um, this image is 163 pixels by 163 pixels. So I'm going to replace it with some, one exactly the same size. So I just simply select it, delete it, come up to the image manager. And I've already set up a folder called Xmail Assets that I'm going to actually upload my new image into. I'm going to go upload image. I'm going to browse my computer for that image that I want to upload. And that's the one there. I double click on it and go upload. Now in this case I've actually already uploaded this image before so it's going to alert me that this already exists. And if I want I can actually override it. Um, so by simply ticking that function there. Just in case I've changed the image but it's called the same thing. So there's the actually image that I wanted to put in. And I can also add some alt text so um, kids know what this is about. Or what that picture is. So in this case I'll type in Ashley Tisdale and click the insert button. And there you go, I've changed my image. I'm now going to save my work, of course. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to set up the text-only version of this Xmail. Um, now, what happens is some email programs for imagery um, and layouts like we've got on this page, which is called an HTML layout, um, but some do not. Like web-based web programs like um, Hotmail, etc., don't support this. So we need to send a text-only version for those people who can't see the images. So we come through here and we simply click the Import from HTML button, which will then import all the text in the other version of that for us. Now, you need to do a pretty pretty layout so that kids know what this is about. So in this case I'm actually going to use the hash key to create a line. I'm then going to type in what this 
is all about. So in this case, it's the App Start Mag newsletter. Um, and I, I also like putting contact details in here just so that kids know how to get in contact with me um, in case they don't want to receive this anymore. Um, it's very important under the new anti-spam legislation that you have unsubscribe functions, which we've automatically added into this email, so that's fine. Um, and I'll just put in email as well. And then I'll finish that heading off with some hashes. Um, then what I want to do is put in high up starters. Um, and then I can start actually formatting this content. In this case, I'm just going to get rid of that. And we could do quite a bit of playing with the, the layout. If you ever see a box like what we've got here, it just means that the character that we've copied and pasted into this um, text editor can't be identified. So you just need to retype it in. So in this case, it's an apostrophe. Great. So now that we've set up our text version, we want to click Save again. Um, now you'll need to go to the next tutorial, which tells you how to send an email.